Right then. So I hope we want the next page, don't we? Give the page up there. Okay, so it so says show that tan 15 is. Now I want to use the, com the compound angle formulas, the addition formulas. So I've got to think how else can I write 15? So I could do it as a thousand minus 985. Uh, but let's try and work with something that's a little bit easier. So I could think 90 minus 75, that doesn't help. Uh, 30 minus 15, ooh, is that going to help us? So we kind of want 30s, 60s and 45s and 90s really. So let's go, let's see that as being uh, 60 minus 45. Because their ones, if I flip back one page, lost my page thing, I, can, I know what 60 and what 45 is. So I can use those values on my table. Right, so I'm going to see tan 15 then of tan of 60 degrees minus 45 degrees. Now you don't really get asked these. If they are, then kind of like, you know, don't use your calculator type ones, show that it works. So I'm going to use tan A minus B. Phone's buzzing like crazy. Uh, uh, so I'm going to use tan A minus B, which is tan A. Uh, let me go back and check the formula. Minus tan B over 1 plus tan A tan B. So if you look, A is my 60 and B is my 45. So tan of 60 minus 45 is tan 60 minus tan 45 over 1 plus tan 60 times tan 45. There. Right, so let's have a think. So we've got our exact values from the previous page. Uh, what is going on? Right, so let's have a quick we'll do some flicking backwards and forwards. So we have tan 60 and tan 45. So tan 60 is root 3, so remember that. And I've got 1. So root 3 and 1. So root 3 for 60, 1 for 45. Right then, so what have we got then? So root 3 minus 1 over 1 plus root 3 times 1. Right. So my tan 15, so what do we got? So we've got root 3 minus 1 over 1 plus root 3. If you stick that in your calculator, it will third it up. So it will times 3 by 1 minus root 3 on the top and bottom. And you'll end up with 2. Now it's a show that, oh, here's a problem. It's a show that one. So if I just put that in, it means I've used my calculator. <sighs> We have to do it all the way through, aren't we? So I've got root 3 minus 1 over 1 plus root 3 times by 1 minus root 3. So because it's a show that, I need to do a ridiculous amount of maths that's included. So I've got root 3 minus 3 minus 1 plus root 3 all over 1 minus 3. So tan 15 is, so I've got 2 root 3 minus 4 all over minus 2. So that's going to divide 3 by minus 2 will give me, just want to find out I've done it wrong, <laughs> minus root 3 plus 2, which if you look, it actually wants 2 minus root 3. Ta-da! And I've got it. Oof. So there's one there for you, exactly the same. So you've got choices with that one. Uh, but I reckon the easiest way to do it is to see it as sine of 45 plus 30. So give that a go and see if you can do it. Okay. Tell me on four and a half minutes. Okay. So see if you can get that answer out using sine 45 plus 30. 
Right, so what we've got, so we've got given that sine A is 4 fifths, cos B is 12 fifths. Whenever I see a fraction associated with a sine or a cos, I always think draw a triangle. So for A, so sine A, so opposite is 4, hypotenuse is 5. So what we got here then, so that's going to be 5 squared minus 4 squared. Well, it's a 3, 4, 5 triangle, isn't it, you did it? So pi, 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 and triple. So we'll go with that. So then that tells me that cos A is 4 fifths and tan A is uh, what we're going to talk about is 3 quarters. Now be careful because it says A is obtuse. Now if A is obtuse, cos and tan are negative. And we talked about that in the last pack and last year. So cos and tan are negative because it's obtuse. There. So you've got to remember that. If you look on the graphs for cos and tan between 90 and 180, it gives you negative y values. Right, so let's have a look at B then. So B is adjacent over hypotenuse. Uh, so that's a Pythagorean triple as well, isn't it? 5, 12, 13 triangle. So if that's cos, then I know that sine B is opposite over hypotenuse, over the hippopotamus. And tan B is 12 over 5. There. Messy. There we go. Right, so I've drawn my triangle. So, so I did that based on the fact that I have fractions here. So because I have fractions associated with sine and cos, it screamed at me, draw a triangle. Right then, so let's have a look at sine A minus B then. So sine A minus B will be, uh, let's have a look. So it's sine A cos B minus uh, what we on? What we on? Cos A sine B. So sine A minus B. So all I have to do is just choose the right fractions now. So sine A is four fifths. Cos B is twelve over thirteen. Cos A is minus four fifths. Sine B is five over thirteen. So if I put that in my calculator, it gives me the value of uh, the completed pack says so sixty three over sixty five. There. So that's sine A minus B. So now, if I look at part B, so tan A minus B is tan A. Minus tan B, so I'm just using the formula 1 plus tan A tan B. So tan A minus B, check the time. So tan A is minus 3 quarters minus 12 over 5 over 1 plus tan A, which is minus 3 quarters times by. 12 over 5. Is that right? Put the numbers in the right place. And that gives me minus 63 over 16. So that's okay. So that's part B. Right, so part C is cot of A minus B. So I know that cot, oops, cot theta is 1 over tan theta. So I just need to flip it. So cot of A minus B is 1 over that, so it's minus 16 over 63, and that's that bit done. I've hit a point now where I'm going to stop on example 3. I'm getting tired anyway, so we'll maybe do a break. Alright, I'll see you later.